This week we have what I think is gonna be a really special build. It's a 26 inch specialized hardtail with some pretty good parts on it and the price has been dropped to 160 bucks. And I already know somebody that this bike will be perfect for. But let's go get the bike and I'll show you what I have in mind. All right, let's get ourselves a bike. How you doing? This is everything I hoped for. Everything's really scratched up, but it's got potential. I like that it's got Marzocchi Air Fork. Use only for cross country, all mountain, free ride, dirt jumper. Do not use for free ride. Let's get this thing home and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. So this bike is actually gonna be for our dog groomer, Heather. She's the only person who will agree to groom Oscar. He's kind of a nightmare. She calls him her special needs pup. And she mentioned the other day that she's looking for a hardtail. Now she's already got a really good full suspension bike, but she wants a hardtail for towing her son. And she wants a bike that's just gonna get kind of a different type of abuse. And we can give her a really good towing gear so she can pull her son up those hills. She was very sheepish about it. She's like, you don't have to build me anything special. I'll give you free grooms to pay for it. We're gonna hook her up. It's the holiday season. Let's just go to town on this thing and see what we can do. So let's talk about the bike. Now it comes with a really good suspension fork and although there are lots of scratches on the crown from the cables, there are no scratches on the stanchions and I think we can take this thing apart, clean it up, have it running like new. The amount of scratches and worn away paint on this bike are just unbelievable but it's not gonna rust because it's aluminum and we can touch those things up. Now Heather told me she likes green and purple so we're gonna try and theme it a little bit. So with that, let's get this bike cleaned up and I'll show you what I have in mind. So first order of business is this suspension fork. It doesn't look like it's been serviced in some time. I wanna get inside it and make sure the oil's fresh, everything's cleaned up. So let's dig in. This is quite disgusting. It's like mustard colored and it's like a golden color when it's brand new, so. Ugh. Wouldn't it be nice if I had gloves? Oh, I only have a hundred. Last thing I wanna do is get into any sort of paint projects, but can use some paint. So we got our stanchions and crown repainted, looks super shiny and nice. And our lowers, I mean, it looks like a brand new set of lowers. These used to be completely scratched up. So Marzocchi is indeed owned by Fox Suspension, but back when this fork was made, they weren't. But they are now, and I have Fox stickers. I don't have Marzocchi stickers, so that's what's going on here. Just like it did before, this just feels so, so stiff. There's gotta be a reason for that. Well, the scary part is that you get nothing and then like the hard hit of something hitting the oil. I heard if you put too much oil in here, it hydro locks. Sure will. And then real bad stuff happens. Like this goes, shoots out the top, that comes up, comes up that way. Pat like instantly found an exploded PDF of this fork and it looks like I put way too much oil in it. It's supposed to take only 180 milliliters, not 250. When we removed some of the oil, it started performing much better, but it still sounds like macaroni in a pot. We got a usable fork. It still makes the same sound, but apparently that's what they sound like. I watched a YouTube video on it. Oh. 
I'm going full on wet sand. There's no other way that I'm gonna get this thing perfectly clean. See this right here? Light wet sanding with 600 grit. Right white again. Okay, so the entire bike has been wet sanded, and aside from the parts of the paint that are pitted, it looks pretty much perfect. So why not just always do that? Well, look at it right now while it's wet and watch what happens as it dries. The paint's all completely dull now because we absolutely dulled the clear coat and in some cases removed it entirely. So we're gonna have to put a new clear coat on the bike to make it shine again. All right, it's time we put the shine back in this bike frame or make a really big mess. So while we got all the paint stuff out, we're in paint hell. We'll paint the brake levers, the little rings around the grips. Yeah, today's gonna suck. This lever looks brand new. I'm so excited about it. Grips look awesome. It's time to stop messing around with paint and get the rest of these parts prepped. So the rotors have seen better days. We're gonna take them off, sand them down, and then reinstall them with colored rotor bolts to give the bike a little pop of color. It was really hard to get the tires off. They were like seated in. Now it doesn't say anywhere on here that these are tubeless ready, but I bet you they're gonna go tubeless pretty easy. If you wanna make wheels that are not necessarily tubeless, tubeless, what you have to do is pile up the rim take just a little bit extra so you can make that seal. And I just so happen to have some Schrader tubeless valve stems from miles wide. So we're gonna give that a try right now, see if they seal up. All right, so I have no sealant in here. Let me see if it sort of seals up. Okay. How is it holding air? You can't even believe it, right? All I gotta do is drop some sealant in there. How you doing? Good. Pretty good. That's gotta be our stem which is good because I can't build this bike without the stem. So from the parts bin, I have these handlebars and off the original bike, I have this seat post. They both have red on them, which doesn't match the color scheme. So we're gonna paint over it. But in the case of these P&W bars, I don't wanna hide the logo because it's a cool company, it's a cool part. And so I think if I paint over it lightly, it'll still show through because of the relief. We went way overboard with almost everything on this. We have all the parts laid out. So we're gonna slap a seat post in it, get this bike up on the stand, and start making it look like something that you can actually ride. We managed to scrounge together a nine-speed drivetrain. The only thing that's really used is the cassettes. Again, we can put it back in the parts bin and make a bike that's barely working work great. These platform pedals came with my new bike. I used different ones, so we have some nice metal pedals to put on this thing with replaceable pins and everything. So the shifter cables on these older mountain bikes go in segments. So you have all these different interfaces along the way. They don't really do that anymore because they're just more areas for dirt ingress into your cable housing. I'm gonna actually drill these out so that we can run the cable all the way up to the front with no breaks in the cable. So I'm trying to complement these green lever grips with some splashes of green around the bike, and it's just not working. I think we're gonna go all purple. I think I'm gonna take these off. We take color coordination very seriously here at Flip Bike. I 
I feel like the caps on the outside of the disc brakes, we should pick. I gotta stop. Sometimes the best thing you could do when you're color customizing a bike is show some freaking restraint. It doesn't need more. This bike is sick. I just want to stare at it. stickers on it, but it's really the Marzocchi. They're owned by Fox. He drew you circles, that. cause he's like, mommy, I can't draw a bicycle. I said, well, just draw circles. And he's got all the cool alligators <laughs> on bicycles and stuff. We tried to put it on his balance bike, but because I had a dropper seat, we couldn't attach it to my mountain bike. The good thing about this is if the kid gets tired, you can tow them and then you can disconnect it and then they can shred. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> So it was really fun riding with Heather and Simon. Although we didn't sell the bike for a profit, we are going to barter groomings from Heather. She's Oscar's dog groomer. And so I have some calculations to do to figure out how many grooms that's gonna be. So we had some used handlebars in the parts bin. We'll put a value of $20 on those. Stem was $30. Pedals, 20. Drivetrain was partially used. We'll call it 150. We used a lot of paint and that was $20. We also use a lot of miscellaneous hardware like tubeless sealant and valve stems and cables. All that came to $25. That seat we repainted, we'll call $15. New brake pads, $10. Brand new crank set and bottom bracket was only 56 bucks. And the bolt-on skewers were $10. So all the parts we put on the bike were $356. That's a lot for a bike that really didn't need any parts. If we were trying to sell this for a profit and make as much money as possible, I wouldn't have changed anything on the bike. I would have serviced the fork, swapped out some cables and little tiny things, and just gotten it running, and I think we would have made a big profit. But on that note, we put a lot of perfectly good parts back into the bin. The seat was just as good as the one we put on, so $15. Handlebars, $5. Stem, $5. Drivetrain, $30. Crank set, $25. Pedals, $5 for a total of $85. The bike cost us $160, and so a little bit of math shows us that we spent a total of $431 on the entire bike with all the parts and the credits and everything. I'm really happy with how the bike turned out. Heather is stoked about it. Simon is really stoked to be able to rip down trails with his mom, and I just had a lot of fun doing it. If you like watching us tinker in the shop with bikes, you should watch our other flip bike episodes where we actually try to make a profit. I have them all in the playlist below, and if you subscribe to Berm Peak, you can watch the new ones that are coming up this year. And if you're interested in Berm Peak merch like the youth jersey that Simon got, you can go to cognitivemtv.com and pick one up for yourself. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time. Come here! He said, oh shit, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> He's scared. He's like, it's Heather. Oh, boy, man.
Oh, 